Hey everyone, I'm Paya the creator behind Cupid Creatives. You might have seen some of my cool videos on my Facebook page where I bring characters and stories to life with AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create amazing videos just like the ones on the screen using an incredible AI tool called Kling AI. Kling AI is amazing at turning your images into animated videos and I'll share with you five hacks I use to get the best results with only one or two generations. For this tutorial, we will be using the image to video feature. So let's jump in. Oh, and the best part, I do all this from my Samsung S10 mobile phone. Tip number one, image choice matters. Pick an image where the character appears to be moving, walking, reaching, or facing in a direction. For example, if my characters are facing the camera, there is a high possibility I will prompt them for an action towards the camera. Or in the case with this Viking woman and her snow leopard, they are walking together in the original image, so I'll continue the theme and prompt a walking movement. With that in mind, my image choice will determine what my prompt will look like. Which brings us to the next tip. Tip number two, keep prompts simple. Too much detail may result in undesirable and totally unrelated generations. I've burnt through many credits with unnecessary regenerations because my prompts were too long and the results were a morphing disaster. This example shows a male warrior and a snow leopard walking towards the camera. Instead of prompting a Viking with his snow leopard walking through a stunning snow and mountain scenery, a more effective prompt would be a man and snow leopard beast walking towards the camera. The scenery description is unnecessary and may confuse the AI. My goal here is to have the characters doing an action I want. Remember, unless you want focus on the background, the AI may take the addition of the mountain in the prompt literally and generate the final second for the mountain. Have faith the background scenery will generate as a usable video. Tip number three, humans and animals work best. AI can create amazing real life videos from your images, but struggles with fantasy or sci-fi. Dragons, monsters, flying animals can morph uncontrollably. Again, image choice from tip number one rings true. But don't worry, I'll let you in on a secret hack at the end to fix otherwise ruined generations. Tip number four, explore other settings for more control. Advanced users can use the relevance and creativity dial in the settings. Slide the dial in either direction depending on your requirements, for example, relevance to the prompt dial towards the right side or towards creativity dial towards the creativity side. Standard mode and professional mode deliver richer details, superior image quality. There is a setting for standard mode or professional mode and a setting for five seconds or 10 seconds. Camera movement is unavailable for image to video for now and an optional negative prompt is available, but I personally don't use it as the results can vary. Please note, professional mode costs 35 credits, standard costs 10 credits. So to increase the time from five to 10 seconds in professional mode will cost a whopping 70 credits. Again, I don't use these features, but it's good to know they are available. Tip number five, use the extend feature. On the paid plan, you can choose to extend your video by five seconds. The choices are to auto extend or to custom extend. Auto extend continues with the AI choosing how the movement in the video will extend, usually based on your previous generation. The custom extend will require you to enter another prompt. Try to prompt for a five second window. And when you feel comfortable with the process, you can begin to build character movements in five second increments. Don't worry, we can speed the video up later in a video editing suite to make it look amazing. Oh, if you're not familiar with Kling AI yet, you will realize videos tend to be generated in slow motion. Bonus tip, salvage all your failed videos. I use CapCut to salvage otherwise unusable clips. Upload your failed clips into your favorite video editing suite, clip, rearrange, speed up or slow down the warped or what the f videos. I'll show you how in the next video. But for now, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Cupid Creatives here on YouTube for more tutorials, tips, and of course, more awesome AI generated content. See you in the future. Bye for now.